Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Tip and Tricks by ENG. My name is Ignacio and today I'm bringing you the second video explaining how to create a fabrication parts database from the scratch. In this video we will learn how to add accessories, hangers and insulations, how to import and export services and how to load the database to Revit. So let's get to it. Now imagine that you have a service with two different materials depending on the pipe size. Here's what you need to do. Create the service as seen on the previous video. And now, right click on any part of the window and select New Tab. Name the tab, for example, Groove with Dactyl Iron Material. Now a new tab has been added, and you can add parts as seen before. Always make sure to create the size condition for the next drop of material, and select it before adding the parts. The process is pretty similar for adding accessories and hangers, since we have to create new tabs as well. To add some bulbs, we will create a new tab and browse in the library for the needed ones. Make sure that the accessory connector matches the pipes connector, or you won't be able to place it on Revit. Again, always remember to select the correct sizing conditions. And the same process goes for hangers. Now, to add insulation to a service, we are going to need a few more steps. First, we must create the insulation type, and to achieve this we go through the following process. We have to go to Academy P toolbar and click on the Edit Main Database button. Then we go to Fittings, Insulations and Specifications. Here we click on the New button as we did with the services and a window will pop up asking if you would like to use the current specification as a template. We will choose No and create an insulation specification from the scratch. Now we have to name it and group it in the same way that we did with services. We must set the conditions and select the material for each one and for that we right click on the window and select new. Then we select or add the size condition and select the insulation material and thickness. Click close to create the condition. We will repeat this process with all the thicknesses specified in the project specifications. Once we have created the insulation types we go to the services interface to assign them. We just choose the insulation specifications and click ok. Now every time we place a part from, for example, the storm drain service in Revit, the selected insulation type will be automatically added. If you do not add the insulation specs to the service, you can choose it anyways in the element instance properties in Revit. But remember that you will have to do it for all instances, since it won't be added automatically. Perfect! Now, imagine that we have another project with some of the same manufacturers and materials as the one that we are currently working on. It would be very time consuming to create all the services again, so we will see how to export and import services. To export a system, just go to the CAD interface and type the code export sys. Check for the services that you wish to export and the folder on which you would like to save them. By doing this, you will create a .isg file. Now to import a system, just type the code import sys and browse for the system that you wish to import. That's it. Great, now we have our database ready to be used. All we have to do now is load it into Revit. Just make sure to use the same version that we are using on Academy P. Now on Revit, go to Systems and Fabrication Parts. On the Fab Parts interface, click Settings. Select the Fab Configuration and choose which services you would like to add. And then click OK. Alright, now we can use our fabrication services on Revit. Let's take a quick look of how it works. With this, we have completed our basic tutorial on how to create FabParts database. In our third or last video, we will see some more advanced tools that come very handy when things get a little more complicated, so stay tuned. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more BIM tips and tricks videos. Bye bye!